Welcome back to the boss tour. This time we are fighting for Cestus, the fifth Grand Cardinal. Or is he the first? He's the fifth one you fight, the first you meet, and the fourth who kicks the bucket. He's just really weird that way. At any rate, he fights with two X-Bones who are completely immune to wind. Um, Fortis himself is resistant to wind, but he can still be damaged by wind attacks, as you will see in this video. Now, uh, now all the X-Bones do are cast Windblade, um, the basic wind spell, but it can still be pretty annoying, so your best bet is to just take him out first. And in this fight, I have Void for say a Kratos in rain. Um, the upside to Kratos is... There aren't many things resistant to wind, but he, even though you cannot change his equipment when he's with you right now, he comes already equipped with something resistant to wind, the Thunder Tape. Um, uh, a note about the characters in the party, everyone but Lloyd, whoever you choose to pick with you to come with Lloyd, will receive a boost in their affection. It's pretty much like the uh, Kavar branch in that way. And as you would notice, Prasea is in my party right now, even though I don't generally recommend her to be in, since, well, if you could, if you could tell from uh, Rodile and uh, my Devil's Arm Guide, you should, you should have been able to pick out that I'm trying to get Prasea close to me in this playthrough. But uh, regardless, um, there, I did come into a run-in when equipping things that were uh, resistant to wind. Uh, Kratos comes with the Thunder Cape, and I gave Lloyd my one other Thunder Cape, and I was uh, stuck with the Opal for Persea, which unfortunately gives her wind element attacks. But that's okay, because uh, a lot of Persea's techs are Earth element, so uh, her special moves will still do damage even to the X-Bones who are normally immune to her uh, normal attacks. And for, and she has such high attack power that um, even with Forcistus' resistance, she'll still do a good amount. Uh, uh then he, Um... Oh yes, um, another problem, but though the problem with Kratos being in the party is that it takes a while for him to, to learn all the texts that, um, Zelos would have already known at this point, and it would have, and it took a while to change him from, like, all the way at F T to all the way at S, because he already learned Double Demon Fang and Hurricane Thrust, and I wanted him to learn Light Spear Cannon. So, as a result of this, um, I am going in slightly over-leveled. Uh, it is quite a pain to get uh, to the boss without uh, getting yourself into a battle or getting hurt by one of those things. As you noticed, I got hurt there. But, I'm still going in anyway. Now... That's as far as you go. You're... for Cestus! Well, well. So you remember me. It looks like it was a mistake to have let you live. I guess I'll have to take care of you personally. Enemy confirmed. Threat level high. Eliminating the enemy. A futile effort. You are the ones who will be eliminated, along with this human-tainted world. If the world is destroyed, half-elves will die as well. Is that what you wish? We have Garrus Karla. It is a world of mana, the very source of life. The destruction of this tainted world is of no concern to us. More twisted logic. Is this Crucius's idea? Lord Yggdrasil's orders are absolute. Because Martell is fused with the Great Seed. Are you saying that fool would go this far just to protect her? 
You speak as if you know him. Who are you? Lloyd, with no time, we'll have to use force. I know! You will not get past me! <laughs> 